Okay, this next clip. But I'm not even including the TRO, the, the $2,500 for that, that retainer. That's not even included in my $1,300 because I wasn't out of pocket on that. $13,000 I've spent on legal fees. That's And that's not including the TRO money because that TRO money I had to go fund me for. So I'm not even including the TRO. That most, a lot of that uh, was helped out by Manya that helped me out of that. Yeah, I, I think you can but pause I'm not it even including the TRO, um, the, the $2,500. Oh, I forgot. I, had, I didn't realize I had to pause it. First of all, I want to just jump in here and say how I find it kind of weird how um, Unirock jumped in and said, okay, you can pause it now. Now, for granted, it could be nothing, but I don't know the rest of this dream in which they were playing from. I don't know the rest of Steve's dream. I'm sure I could find out, but I I, I just, when I hear stuff like that, what, no matter who it's from, I wonder why are they so quick to jump in and say, you could pause it now? Like, is it going to provide more context? Or maybe it's just because it's a bunch of wasted information. I don't know, but I can't help but to just still question that, you know? No, I, no, it stopped. I replayed oh, okay. it because I thought I screwed it up. Oh, oh no. no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, so I think the important thing there, negative, if I'm if I'm wrong, correct me, it's where he says that the TRO money was raised in the GoFundMe, correct? Yeah, exactly. It was, which isn't allowed. By, Watch the uh, chat. You know, GoFundMe doesn't, you can't, you can't uh, raise money for a harassment or a restraining order. Uh, and that's what on Twitter, you might have seen Manya's tweet about. Donate, I think she said 800. Yeah, it was and, 800. Uh, yeah, that's what she was referring to. I'd be curious if she's still in the chat, what she thought. I think she might have left, but um, I was told from Steve that it was 800. Now, you may have noticed my comment there come up really rather quickly in chat, and that's because I foreseen this coming. It, there's been some chatter and some screenshots shown on Twitter that gave me the impression that this was going to be an, an argument they were going to make. So I had pre-typed something out. So when, if and when it did come up, I could just copy it and then paste it and then hit send. And that's exactly what I did. That's why I came up so fast. That's also kind of how predictable they are. But anyway, I want to just point out here, though. They're claiming that Steve's GoFundMe fundraiser campaign was fraudulent because he was raising money and used the funds for the litigation expenses regarding his TRO with Katie Joy. That's what they're claiming, that it was fraudulent because they're claiming it's fraudulent because it's against GoFundMe's terms of service to use funds or to use a, a fundraiser, to make a fundraiser, to raise money to fight legal proceedings. That's what they're claiming. Okay. That is approximately what I recall because that, uh, she had requested those uh, after she had posted that about the uh, not posting anymore about it or whatever or not supporting NSS or whatever it was. So it was all in that same time frame. So he ran it under the pretense of, uh, I mean, we can open it up here and. Uh, we can read it. Uh, just in case there are a few people who haven't been following you know, Secretary's drama over the last year or so. Let me do a quick TLD. I'm not doing a TLDR on Jen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about Mr. Curtis uh, to this day is in an action. He still has failed to perform. So he's making it seem like it's about the uh, DMCA. And, and what's that? It, what does that stand for? Okay, now you may have no, oh, you probably didn't notice because my screen's covering much of the comments that are posted on the screen or on their screen rather. But they had put my, my comment up. My comment made its way up on screen. I'm not quite sure how or whatever, but it was completely ignored. Now, for granted, maybe no one's watching the screen, especially the guests, because there are a lot of times when I stream on someone else's channel, I won't even bother with them watching the chat, whatever. So that could very well be the case. I just 
want to say that much, but it will come up again. I'm going to try and skip ahead to it. Um, okay, so the first fundraiser, I'm sorry, I'm cutting in and out. No, you're all right. So the first fundraiser is the DMCA fundraiser where he was sued, or I'm sorry, struck oh, that'd be a by good time. Time. We want to like, yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently you need to add that I, sorry. You're fine. Um, so the DMCA fund fraud raiser is Kyle Curtis filed a, a couple strikes against uh, Steve's channel uh, for playing music and artwork that he had a copyright to that Kyle did. Um, now it in terms of service. Okay. No, I did not know. Exactly. They it's against their fundraiser uh, court costs involving rape, harassment, um, and then there's like 10 more things and I'm going blank. Uh, harassment, murder, uh, uh, domestic violence, stalking, beating, harassment, in the body of the fundraiser, it will go to other legal things. He actually is saying it'll go to the HRO. Why didn't he directly write what he was going to use the money for in the GoFundMe instead of being vague? And why wasn't that the title of the GoFundMe? Could Negative. It be, could it be because it would be against GoFundMe's terms of service? Yes. Oh, no. Absolutely. GoFundMe does not allow you to raise money for court costs involving rape, harassment, um, and then there's like 10 more things and I'm going blank. Uh, harassment, murder, uh, uh, domestic violence, stalking, beating people. If you try to start a fundraiser to raise your defense money for those things, they it's against their TOS. So yeah, negative. And I posted a link to the GoFundMe <laughs> TOS in the private chat here. Um, anybody can go there and read this for themselves directly from the GoFundMe Terms of Service, okay? No, I did not know that, Melissa. She said, did you know about Rez not getting a big chunk back, Nikki? I didn't, and the Holy Spackle is someone I trust implicitly. Yeah, and I tried to get Spackle on here tonight because she's, and yes. You know, Does she not want to? Okay, now I'm going to just briefly explain something, but that's not the whole point of why I'm bringing this up. Now, it is it is true that you're not allowed to use money raised from fundraisers to f in any kind of legal fees for crimes, for accused crimes or alleged crimes. And it says that much, like in terms of service for GoFundMe was mentioned. And I, I did, a, I already included this in a video, but just a brief summation. In their terms of service, what it states is, funds cannot be raised or used to fight alleged crimes you know, stemming from things like harassment and, and it goes on to, to a list of things, but the, it's alleged crimes. They cannot be used to fight alleged crimes, okay? I mean, accused, accused crimes. Now, simply getting a TRO is, is not a crime. There's no crime in receiving or having a TRO placed against you. Only then, only if you violate the TRO can you be then charged with a crime. And the, the fact of the matter remains that this is a civil litigation. It's one citizen bringing litigation against another citizen. Okay, it's not the state. It's not the whatever the the county, the city, whatever, bringing charges against a citizen. That's not what's going on here. It's citizen against citizen, and it's it, sure it's a judgment by the court. But I mean. A small claims court is a judgment by the court. You see what I'm saying? It's civil. Only if Steve were to break the terms of the TRO and be arrested for doing so, would it then constitute as a crime? Now, that's just the that's the way it's worded. That's the facts of the matter. I mean, it, it, there's a reason why no one else is... It's a reason why since this stream, no one has really come out and said anything about this because they know... They have to know that they were wrong here. They're stretching, and it's not going. It's not stretching far enough. It, they're going to fall short if they were to try and argue this. But nobody acknowledges this. Nobody comes out and says, "Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I was wrong. My bad." Or, "Well, it looks like looks like we were wrong about this one thing with Steve. Looks like Steve was able to use the funds for that." No, 
they will either just drop the whole argument altogether or give it a little time and then re, you know, re, reinstitute the argument, re, bring it back again, re-argue it. And they will do this un, unless and until someone points out the, what's wrong with their argument. You know, and it's one or the other. They will either just drop it and act like it never existed. What We never argue that. Or they will just wait and bring it back. Why can't they just admit they were wrong about something with Steve? Okay. Now, I'm not saying that Steve is, you know, Mr. I don't know, self-reflective or whatever here and commit admit easily when he's wrong. I'm no, of course not. A lot of people are like this. I'm like this at times too. But right now we're talking about an instance where they were clearly wrong and they can't and they won't just come out and admit that. They won't take the L on this one. They won't say, oh, okay, that was our mistake. And then they could say, yep, okay, we're wrong on this, my our mistake. And then move on to, to something else, whatever. I don't care how they do it. But the fact that they are so unwilling or unable to admit error, I mean, that tells me that there's some, there's a lot of personal investment in, in all of these arguments. And if you're arguing about somebody else's behavior, why are you then personally invested so much into whether or not people believe the argument? Because it seems like they're arguing their behavior against Steve's behavior, in which case they have to realize that statistically speaking, their behavior is going to be wrong at times. And this is one example of that. But because they're so personally invested in this, like, they, want, they want someone, I don't care if it's Steve or not, they want someone to be punished and hated so badly for some reason. Why is that? That is just weird to me.